Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you are new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button and remember to share and also press your notification button. Whew. And guys, I know you're looking at me thinking, Bro Ivorian Spice, where'd you get them specs from? Bro, right now I'm looking specalicious. Got these specs from Elite Eyewear London. That's London spelt with an LDN. Trust me, guys. These specs, I don't, I, I ain't gonna lie. Now, I went through their websites. I saw these wonderful pair of specs right here. And I'm there thinking, no, 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 no. These are the shit. These are the shit. Guys, if you wanna get yourself one of these, visit the website as well, which is Elite Eyewear London, which again, London spelled LDM.com. Also, visit the Instagram page, which is at Elite Eyewear london as well guys check it out guys you'll find some beautiful buff specs or should i say shades you know just to put on on top of your drip guys you get me look specklicious like me like your boy Ivory spice elite eyewear london guys yeah and guys today it's leicester 2 manchester united 2 fruit two points dropped yes two points dropped but I can be happy with the performance today. I know some of you guys are probably pissed off. Yes, I can be pissed off too. At the same time, you can be pleased that we didn't drop two points. We could have had three points, but we ended up dropping two points and getting, gaining just one point. And against Leicester City, at their ground, at King Power Stadium, it was a good result for us. I know you probably think, bottle job FC. Yes, bottle job tendency. Yes, not having the mentality to go all the way and win that game 2-1. Just conceding a goal straight after we've just go into the lead again, make it 2 1. Guys, defensively, horrible. Harry Maguire, Slabhead, Captain Slabhead, we have a lot to say about him today. And we're going to go into that match. We're going to dwell on Captain Slabhead. What a useless man. Useless. 80 million. 80 million down the drain. You might as well say we got bumped. Yep, 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 yep. We definitely got bumped. We all know we got bumped. Yeah. Ed Woodward and them man them there can't face the fact that we got bumped. So they use anything. England, English media, England themselves, I've been trying to avoid, you know, not slatering Captain Slabbed. But boy, not with me. Captain Slabbed, you can't get away with me. You can't get away with nothing. Not even murder. It's on him. It's on him, Captain Slabbed. AKA Harry Beckenbauer. You don't deserve that. You don't deserve the name Beckenbauer. Slabbed. Fridge. Slowpoke. Jesus. And guys, let's just dwell straight into that match. Marcus Rashford. Again, Marcus Rashford had an opportunity to make it 1-0. Miss an open header. Jesus is Lord. Jeez. Marcus Rashford just missing an open opportunity of an easy header. And that's one thing I've got to say about Marcus Rashford. A scorer of the hard goals, a great scorer of the hard goals. But the simple goals, the easy goals, a buffoon. He goes missing. CPU shuts down when Marcus Rashford gets an easy goal. When it's time to think, it's just too much for him. CPU crashes down. Exactly like I said before, guys, Marcus Rashford reminds me of my old MacBook that just randomly used to shut down when I was playing Football Manager. I could be in the middle of a game, packing the team 3-1, just about to score the fourth goal. Boom! That's what happens to Marcus Rashford whenever he gets the ball. As soon as he has so much time to think, he's about to shoot. Boom! And that Sound, that's the that's whenever it shuts down, you know. That's Marcus Rashford to me. But Marcus Rashford making it 1-0. Bruno Fernandez, every inch of his toe, everything that he had, just had to stretch that toe with a wonderful assist. Again, Bruno Fernandez, what can you say about my G, my guy, my Don, my Don Perignon, the guy that makes everything work. The salt and pepper to my shoe. The sh you know, the sugar in my tea. You know, you get me? He's the sugar in our tea. Bruno Fernandes, another assist. With Mark Rashford, wonderful finish again, again, again. It was an easy goal. He almost shut down, almost missed it, but he slotted it in. And then Leicester City, Harvey Bond, Captain Slabbed. Guys, did you see Harry Maguire? Do you, guys, do you think Harry Maguire had a bit of... I definitely think so, because why? He was hobbling and wobbling. He was... And then passed the ball to... Bruno Fernandes. Bruno Fernandes making a horrible mistake trying to not make man. Fam, you don't not make man in front in your own half. You don't do that. But yes, I can't fault Bruno. You know Bruno. He tries everything, you know. He tries, you know. Making that mistake for us to concede a goal from Harvey Barnes. Wonderful shot by Harvey Barnes. It was a very good goal by Harvey Barnes. 
But yeah, again, Captain Slabeb, Slowpoke, Fridge. Joke, man, it's his fault. That first goal was his fault. Because why? He was too busy. And then passing the ball. Missed it horribly as well. Jesus. I just still can't believe we get he gets away with this 80 million. I know another player in our team that's cost 80 million. And he gets it all the time. He gets it up his ass all the time, bro. He each time he comes on, he just literally comes on bending his ass over and just, just walks. He just walks with his ass bent over because why? He gets fucked up the ass too much. Sorry for swearing, but it was needed to say. Well, Captain Slabhead gets gets you know and gets away with murder. Scott free like. You get me? But let's not talk about that too much. Again, going to the second half, 1-1. Manchester United looked good, especially in the first half. Creating the best chances, the clear cut chances, but just couldn't finish our chances. Second half, again, again and again, our guy Bruno, Captain Marvel. He should be our captain. He should really be our captain. Where would we be without Bruno? You know, it's like me. It's like every man in their life that has a woman and he's so successful. Where would he be without his woman? Because he's the his woman motivated him got them where he needs to get to and that's bruno he's that woman that's getting us where we need to get to you know when we met her she changed our life man things started changing and my, my whole behavior the way i see life changed you know you know you know he started becoming more soft and everything you know he started loving life a bit more you know that's bruno you know he's becoming more ambitious you, you say you know what i can get that job that i've been dreaming about she's there telling you, you can get that job that's bruno right there man assisting and scoring motivating us you know you get me if you're obviously and if you're a woman that's your man that's motivating you you get me like don't no, no, no. And, and if you you know if you like, happen to like man that's your man that's doing that if you happen to like woman that's your woman that's doing that for you bro you know what i mean like that you know man don't discriminate out here bro yes bruno fernandez scoring a second goal you know that two one poof beautiful beautiful finish i knew it was going in as soon as i saw captain i'm about to say captain slabber captain slabber's in my mouth right now i knew that bruno will score that goal you know, as soon as he became one-on-one -on -one with the goal. But, and before that, Mark Trashford had a one-on-one -on -one opportunity again. Again. <laughs> I need to really stop that. It's disrespect to my guy, Rashford. Even though I love him and I want the best for him. Guys, I want the best for Mark Rashford, you know. I see the talent there, you know. We just need nurturing. But all the time, again, one-on-one. -on -one. <laughs> yes. So, yes. Yes. And then, of course, as usual, Manchester United. Sloppy defending. Sloppy, sloppy defending. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Four defenders at the back. Four defensive players with McTominay and all sorts of stuff. Luke Shaw, Harry Maguire, Eric Bay. Everyone was there. Still, we concede. Make it 2-1. To Santa Bay, unlucky with the deflection. That wasn't his fault, guys. That wasn't his fault. But besides that, guys, with us drawing 2-2, I'm happy with the point. I'm happy with the performance that the lad gave us today, you know. Defensively, we could have been way much better. Oli got the tactics right today. It can't be on Oli all the time, you know. Even me, the way I am towards Oli, he got it right. Especially in the second half when he made a um, Paul Pogba um, substitution. I didn't know what formation was playing. I'll be honest with you. I did not know what formation was playing when Pogba came on. I felt like we were three at the back, then it was four. I don't know. But at the end of the day, that made a dramatic impact. Daniel James, don't don't ever play again. Ha uh, Oli, don't pick him again, please. Don't, don't do that, you know. I ain't gonna lie, guy. I'm feeling these specs. I'm looking nice, you know. I'm looking nice. Remember, Elite I Wear, you know, London. London spelled L D N dot com. Also at Elite I Wear, you know, on the Instagram. You get me? Get your specs. Get looking like me. I grew in spice. Get looking spicy. You get me? Overall thoughts, guys. At the end of the day, I'm pleased with the point. Missed opportunity. Again, mentally, we're not there yet, you know. Mentally, you know, getting that mentality of a winner. We are not there yet, but we'll get there. We will get there. It takes time as well, you know. You need to be in that position to learn from. And with Manchester United, they are in the position to learn from. But then again, we've had been in the position to capitalise on our ops several times and missed out on capitalising on our ops. So, yeah, I'm not too surprised about that. Man in the match today definitely has to go to Bruno Fernandes. My G, a goal and assist again. This guy just can't stop. He just can't stop. You know, out here be like, come on. Shimmer, and it just stop. Can't stop till you get enough. Shimmer, trust me. A B B saying, I'll be right back. You know, like, you know, like Rush Hour. I'll be right back because he's always right back. And we're going to go and assist. Don't give the match, DJ Daniel James. Useless. I don't even know why he played today, you know. Tell me what he done today. Tell me what he done today because I can't tell you what he done today. 
God can't even tell you what he's done today. Even God will tell you, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what he's done today, you know. Jesus, I don't know what he's done today. Jesus, you know what he's done today? Heavenly Father, I don't know. But no one knew what he done today, bro. What was he on? What was his role, you know? What's your purpose in life, Daniel James? Are you what? Are you a fast player? Are you a speed merchant? Are you meant to go fast players? You know, what, do you like space? I don't I don't know. Like, because you keep losing the ball. Like, I don't know. Like, I'm out here to your win. I don't know. I don't know. Is he is he a winger? I don't know. I don't know. Is he a striker? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Is he meant to go fast player? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. You know? But run up your mouth, get chefed, you know? Don't know. But yeah, I just don't know if Daniel James, man, he's just useless. He's useless. He had one, he had a fantastic game where everything was advantage for him. But boy, this game, it wasn't for him. I guess Leicester, we didn't need him. But fans, Manchester United fans, you know, be happy. We got the point, you know. I know, I know it would have been a nice boxing day treat if we won. It looked like we was going to win, but the boys bottled it. But what can we do about it? You start to just stay positive for the next match. Hopefully we can win against Wolves because that's going to be a tough 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 match and we need all we that we need you know hopefully Pogba starts you know you know because I'm tired of this like rotation this and that you know it's sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't work you know play your best 11 only play your best 11 man otherwise I won't get onto you no you get me you like you like you want people to get onto you you like pressure in it don't worry one day you'll be looking at your email address and then you know you know you're not working for us no more be careful bro I love you Oli but you know we want the best for you. You need to step up. But again, this wasn't a match where you can say it's Oli's fault. Defensively, it was the player's fault. You know? But guys, remember to follow the social. Remember to subscribe. Smash that like button. And, you know, and share. And also press that notification bell up, you know, guys. And also remember to follow the official Instagram account, which is TV one baby, guys. You know? And all follow me on Ivorian underscore Spice on the Instagram and across Twitter as well. And a Snapchat. Same thing. You get me, bro. But guys, it's been lovely. Let me know exactly what you think of today's game. Who was your donkey of the match? Who was your man of the match? And remember, guys, the um the description of this links, of the links and everything, in a in the description box, guys. You know, you get me if you want to find me the spec. So I got everything for you. I got catering. Men got men got shades for you. Men got clothing for you, fam. So guys, get to the description. Look at the links. Get to buying. You get me, fam. Anyway, guys. As always, I'm out, of course. And as always, as I always say, remember to keep it united and remember to keep it red united. Peace out.